Hey everyone! Today we are looking into the lives of the Gabor sisters, the most famous trio of sisters in Hollywood in the 1940s and 1950s. But far from being celebrated for their film and television roles, Magda, Eva and Jar Jar became most infamous for their serial matrimony. Join me as we explore their story. But before we get into the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Established Titles. Over the years on the channel, I've covered the lives of many nobles, and I was starting to feel a bit left out. So I thought it was about time that I became a lord. And here it is. Proof that I am now a lord. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom, where landowners are referred to as lairds, or lords and ladies in English. So by buying as little as one square foot of dedicated land, you too can officially change your name to Lord or Lady. This even comes with a unique plot number, so you know its exact location. Something that I love about established titles, apart from the fact that it's a fun and great last minute gift, is that you're supporting global reforestation efforts. They plant a tree with every order and work with global charities, like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot, and we can even build our little forgotten life's kingdom. Established Titles is actually running a massive sale right now, so make sure to use the code Forgotten Lives to get an additional 10% off. Go to establishedtitles.com forward slash forgotten lives to get your gifts now and help support the channel. The Gabor sisters were born into a family of Jewish-Hungarian descent in Budapest, the city which today is the capital of Hungary. The eldest of the three sisters was Magdona, though she was more simply known as Magda throughout her life. She was born on the 11th of June 1915. Just over a year and a half later, her parents welcomed their second daughter, Zsa into the world in February 1917. The third of the trio, was born on the 11th of February 1919, as Hungary was engulfed in chaos and revolution following the end of the First World War. She was named Eva. The girl's parents were well-established members of high society of Budapest as they were growing up. Hungary had a large Jewish community of over 700,000, making it one of the main centres of the Jewish diaspora globally in the interwar period. This ensured that the Gabor family could obtain a prominent social position in Hungary at this time, despite the anti-Semitic sentiments which prevailed all across Europe. However, later their Jewishness would have profound implications for their life trajectories. As they grew up in the 1920s and early 1930s, the Gabor sisters became used to an affluent lifestyle. Their parents worked as jewellers and porcelain traders, valuable commodities during the 1920s, and they managed to weather the Wall Street crash and Great Depression of the period from 1929 onwards reasonably well. From a young age, the three sisters became known for their beauty. In 1936, when she was just 19 years of age, Zsa, Zsa was crowned as Miss Hungary and began a career as an actress in Vienna, the Austrian capital. Meanwhile, the youngest of the three women, Eva, married a Swedish doctor by the name of Eric Drimmer in 1937, and they emigrated to the United States shortly thereafter. It provided a crucial link with America, which would influence the lives of her and her sisters, and would lead to their fame and infamy. Eva was eventually joined in the US by her sisters, owing to developments in Europe. In September 1939, war engulfed the continent as Nazi Germany invaded Poland. The Nazi party first sought to turn the Jewish people in the territories they controlled into second-class citizens by introducing laws which severely limited their rights. But soon things got even worse. Although Hungary was allied with Germany during the war, the country managed to avoid excessive persecution of its large Jewish community for much of the war. Yet in the spring of 1944, the Germans occupied Hungary and began an intense policy of mass murder, which would eventually lead to the death of over 500,000 of the country's Jews. The Gabors fled their homeland in response to this growing policy of racial extermination heading first to Portugal and Brazil, and then sailing onwards to the United States to join Eva. In America, the three sisters soon became some of the leading actresses and social figures of the 1940s and 1950s, 
the so-called golden age of Hollywood. Of the three sisters, Magda enjoyed the least success on the screen. She arrived last on the trio to the United States, reaching there in 1946, and even after this, did not appear on the screen for several years. The height of her fame came in the mid-1950s, when she appeared on television shows like The Four Star Review and The Colgate Comedy Hour. Thereafter, her screen career largely faded away. However, while Magda's role on the screen was brief, her marital life was a source of major interest in American social life for decades. She, like her other two sisters, became known for serial matrimony. Magda had already been married once before she fled Europe to a Polish air pilot and minor noble by the name of Jan Bajcholski. Evidently, Magda and Jan had divorced by the time she left Europe, though the details of this are unclear, given the instability of European record keeping during the war. We do know that she quickly married William N. Ranking, an American playwright and screenwriter, on the 3rd of December 1946. It was an association which aided Magda and her sister's connections within Hollywood in the short term, but the marriage didn't last, and Magda and Ranking divorced in August 1947. Another short marriage to a New York lawyer by the name of Sidney Robert Warren followed in the summer of 1949, and ended quickly in 1950. This was followed by what was easily one of the most successful marriages ever entered into by the Gabor sisters. In 1956, Magda married Arthur Gallucci, an Italian-American building contractor from New Jersey. They remained wed for over a decade, and when their union came to an end, it was only owing to Gallucci's death from cancer on the 22nd of January 1967. This was unusual for any of the Gabor sisters, as divorce was a typical reason why their marriages ended. Over the next decade, Magda brought her number of husbands up to six when she married George Sanders, a British actor in early December 1970, a union which lasted just four weeks, and then Tybor Helte, an economic consultant in August 1972. This final marriage lasted three years and would be Magda's last. Moreover, they had separated just a year after the nuptials, and once this sixth marriage failed, Magda would never marry again over the next 20 plus years. Magda was eclipsed in almost every way by her younger sister Zsa Zsa. In the 1950s, she became one of the most acclaimed stars of the American screen, known for her beauty and European sophistication. She was regularly on television and starred in many films, some of them directed by the most well-known directors of the time. For instance, in 1952, she appeared in Moulin Rouge, directed by John Huston, while in 1958, she played a peripheral role in Touch of Evil, one of Orson Welles' most celebrated films, starring Welles himself and Charlton Heston. However, into the 1960s and the 1970s, Zsa Zsa began to fade from major productions, in part because she was so distracted by her bustling social life and Hollywood lifestyle. In total, she married a staggering nine times. One of these marriages had occurred before she left to Europe, to Berham Belge, a Turkish diplomat, but this was ended in 1941, shortly before she decided to leave Europe. Marriage after marriage, and divorce after divorce, occurred from the 1940s through to the 1980s. The first was to Conrad Hilton Sr., a major heir to the Hilton Hotel Fortune in 1942. That lasted until 1947, after which she married George Sanders, a British actor. The latter marriage lasted until 1954, but is especially curious for the fact that Sanders would later go on to marry Zsa Zsa's elder sister Magda in 1970, for a period of just a few weeks. It may have been brought about by heavy drinking on the part of Magda and Sanders. Further marriages followed for Zsa, Zsa many of them brief. For instance, her unions with Joshua Cosden Jr. and Jack Ryan in 1966 and 1975 respectively lasted about a year on average, while that with Felipe de Alba, a Mexican actor in 1983, was declared invalid, as she was still legally married to Michael O'Hara, an Irish-American actor whom she had married back in 1976, just weeks after divorcing Ryan. Finally, Zsa, Zsa ended up in a long-lasting relationship when she married Frederick Prinz von Anhalt, 
a German-American businessman who was nearly 30 years younger than Jar Jar in 1986. The union would last decades, down to Jar Jar's death. Not to be outdone by her older sisters, Eva Gabor married nearly as many times as Magda. Her first marriage to the Swedish doctor Eric Drimmer collapsed in the early 1940s, after they immigrated to America. Thereafter, she married Charles Isaacs, an American investment broker in 1943, a union which lasted until 1949. However, her third marriage to a plastic surgeon named John Albert Williams in 1956 lasted less than 12 months. Two relatively long-lived marriages followed, to Richard Brown, a textile manufacturer between 1959 and 1973, and then to Frank Gard Jameson Jr., a former vice president of Rockwell International, a company which played a massive role in the American aerospace and technology industry at the height of the space race between the US and the Soviet Union in the 1960s. This fifth and final marriage of Eva's was initiated in 1973 and lasted until divorce in 1983. Throughout much of these decades, Eva enjoyed a significant television and film career, appearing in dozens of shows and films, and paving the way for Zsa Zsa's success in particular. Between 1953 and 1954, she even fronted her own television show, The Eva Gabor Show, which featured various celebrity guests of the 1950s Hollywood studio system, and in which Magda and Zsa Zsa also made guest appearances. As the years went by inevitably, the Gabor sisters' fame and screen work dried up. Hollywood, after all, lionises youth and good looks, especially so for women. As a result, by the 1960s as they entered their 40s and then 50s, the three sisters found themselves getting less and less work. However, some cameos did garner attention thereafter. For instance, Zsa Zsa appeared in the Naked Gun series with Leslie Nielsen in the early 1990s, while Eva made appearances in the Beverly Hillbillies television series of the same era, a show which was one of the most viewed programs of the late 1980s and early 1990s. It was Eva the youngest of the Gabor sisters who passed away first. This was in Los Angeles on the 4th of July 1995. She was 76 years of age, and this was not necessarily a premature age to die at. Rather, it was her two older sisters that just managed to live quite long lives. Magda died in the summer of 1997, when she was 81 years of age, while Zsa, Zsa the most famed of the three sisters, lived to the ripe old age of 99, dying in Los Angeles on the 18th of December 2016. Despite the fact that the three Gabor sisters were married 20 times between them, their many relationships only led to one child. On the 10th of March 1947, Zsa, Zsa gave birth to a girl by the name of Francesca. The father was Zsa, Zsa's second husband, Conrad Hilton. Nevertheless, in the 1990s it was claimed that the pregnancy was the result of Conrad forcing himself upon Zsa, Zsa. Well, the couple were about to divorce. Nevertheless, the evidence remains unclear. What is clear though, is that Francesca predeceased her mother, dying at 67 years of age from a massive stroke. Zsa, Zsa was incapacitated from dementia at the time, and was never informed of her daughter's death. So passed the Gabor dynasty from American life, a family that was once colourful and somewhat tragic. Thank you everyone for watching this video on the three Gabor sisters, I hope you found it interesting. Let me know what you thought of their lives down below in the comments, and if you have any other suggestions, also leave them in the comments. I hope you guys are subscribed and have notifications turned on, so you get all my videos as soon as I upload them. Anyway, that's all from me, so I'll see all of you in the next Forgotten Life. Thanks.